hydraulic bar feed setup. If you come over here, you can see it comes with a nice set of collets. Uh, comes with a whole bunch of broken sets of collets, which they should be sets, but we haven't gone, gone through them. Here's some rear tool post holders, slide tool holder, some other hydraulic accessories that may or may not go to this machine. Some live centers, drill bits, drill chunks. There's all kinds of assorted tooling. You also get your rear uh, coolant uh, tray here. You get a couple knee guards and you get your max flash guard. When you get this machine, your bar feed will be disconnected as you see it like this. It'll be shipped in two pieces. When you get it, what you do, you take out these two four Allens to get your two taper pins, slide it here into the yoke all the way into the back of the machine, secure it with two taper pins here, one here and one here, then you also got another one here and you got another one over here on the other side. Once you get the bar feed slid in, you, you will extend the ram out and you will take this nut that's right here and screw it into this yoke here. If you get it screwed in here, there's a set screw on the back side of this big nut. You tighten down the set screw so this nut cannot back out. Your bar feed is set up. Uh, this machine is 220 and this machine is 220 only. It cannot be wired 440. If you come down here and look, this unit is fixed with a brand new hydraulic pump. And we also have installed a rebuilt stock one inch Swayze cool pump. Uh, the stock pump does not come with a warranty. As you can see, the belt is taken off the coolant pump when you are not running coolant. There's no coolant in the pan, you take the belt off so you don't bring the pump up. Um, if you are using the coolant but you don't need it at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, you come up here, you put your coolant nozzle on the back tray and you let the coolant run. You never ever ever want to deadhead one of those pumps. You will burn it out almost instantly. The only thing that this machine is missing is it's missing the door or the guard the cover here for this lower compartment. We don't have any of those guards. Um, what you do is you come over here, you have two speeds for the main motor. You have low and you have high. You hit low, you see a headstock pressure raises right up. And you see up top we have flow in the sight glass. This right here is your lever for your bar feed. You can see it extends out your cylinder and pushes the yoke back. There's the yoke back, brings the cylinder back in. Here is forward and in reverse. Right now we're forward. Reverse. Cut your headstock, and pull and push this little lever. We're starting the low ranges first. All the way up is for your high range. Once again, press the lever. Stop right out here for the feet. Put the reverse. Reverse the feet back and forward. So you can see it knocks off the knees. The is also very strong. They do not slip. Clutches are in excellent shape on this machine. Same thing with this. You see we have the stop dog here and the knock off rod. So as you come over it, you will knock off. Once again, you can see here the clutches are in a very good shape. No tight spots. It was from the end of the piece. Come with a square tool post holder, indexes, and blocks. You can bind it. Let's see, I cannot move it. Use your indexes with no issues. Press the clamp, put the turret halfway, bring it forward, as you can see it, it's locked. The turret is not lined up with the spindle, that's how you test the clamp. The 
turret will knock off when it gets to the end of its stroke. You see the clutches are in very good shape. This is the full stroke on it. I want to show you. It goes from end to end. You get different ranges. All the feeds work. You come over here. You want to, you need to use your high motor. High engages the main motor in the high. So right now you're at five horse, now you're at ten horse. You see now it's running in reverse. Brake is in excellent shape. This is our number three Warner and Swayze turret lane.